Everybody ready? Yeah, we're right, good. Coach, you feel a little bit about the pressure today? All right, I, I was more pleased with practice today. I felt like uh, I felt like today they uh, they really tried to really uh, you know focus in on the physicality part of the game. I thought it was it was, it was much better today, which is what I expected, and uh, so I was pleased in that regard. Uh, again, there's you know there's still uh, a lot of a lot of new language and a, a lot of new concepts that uh, that our whole team is trying to grasp. So. Uh, we've got much, much improvement in front of us, as we know. Uh, but today, in terms of the quality of, uh, of the physicality part of the game, I was, I was, I was pleased. Talk about the language offensively. Just from what we've been able to hear, it sounds really, really a whole lot different. How are the guys kind of taking that offense? I think they've really taken well to it. You know, taken, taken to it well. He, uh, you know, it's um, again, it's just, it's a whole new language. You know, uh, but. Uh, Slowly but surely, you know, baby steps, uh, inch by inch, they're digesting uh, new terms and new meanings. And uh, so, you know, it's going to continue to be a process and, and we just uh, day by day have to improve. But, uh, but they've taken well to it. Did Clint throw everything he was supposed to throw today? Was he totally clear? No, oh, I mean, he's still, you know, we're still being very judicious on how we move forward with him with the soreness of his arm. But, uh, you know, I think day by day he's getting better. I mean, seen out of those young running backs, uh, the guys that Newport ran, like like what they set out last year. How have you seen them kind of? Uh, uh, you know, I feel like they're you know they're making some strides. Uh, they got a long way to go uh, today. Uh, you know, they early in practice, uh, you know, they, they struggled a little bit catching the football. Uh, improved a little bit as practice went on, but you know, there's just a lot of things that you know that they're uh, having to be involved with protections. Check downs, you know, all the pass routes and the language with the pass routes, and obviously the running game as well. So there's a lot of moving parts going on with those guys, but uh, again, day by day, they, they should continue to improve. Gina, was the reason out there? Though? He was um, got a little dinged up. Uh, got a little dinged up Monday, and uh, but he, he's getting better. Is Javier Mitchell going to be able to do full pads at all during the spring? Or? I, I can't say for sure uh, whether he'll, as spring goes on, be able to put on the pads and move around and some, but he'll definitely not be a full contact now. Jesus, let's watch him T-Bell out there. So have had surgery in November. Looks like he's moving around off the well. Actually, it's, it's, I'm really proud of him. You know, he's really taken to this rehab and really, uh, he's, he's taken it personal. You know, he's taken it personal and he's really, he's really taken his rehab to a new level. Uh, again, as I said earlier, one of the things that has been at least a positive, if there's any positive about that, is he's gone through it before. Uh, so he kind of knows the mental part of the game, which is usually the biggest struggle when we're talking about a knee injury. Uh, but he's making huge, huge strides. Uh, he feels confident about it. Uh, he's working hard to improve. I think daily he's making, he's gaining ground. For a guy like Chris Frost with, with Jonathan Evans not being out there, how much is it going to help him to be able to get a, a, a lot more reps than he might have gotten had everybody been out there? Oh, it's invaluable. It's invaluable. You know, any of those young guys, for whatever the reason that they're out there having to take as many reps as they are, there's no substitute for the experience out there. So this is our fourth day, and uh, you know Chris is going to continue to get reps and, and continue to improve, but uh, there's no substitute for being on the field and doing it. Are you guys still trying to figure out where everybody's the best fit at the three linebacker spots? Uh, we are. Uh, you know, that'll be a process that we have to continue to you know, evaluate daily, uh, which we, we are. And uh, you know, again, some guys uh, that are being asked to cross train, uh, you know, they're having to learn a lot. So, uh, but they're doing, they're doing well, and uh, they're, they're, they're working at it. Have you seen a, a, an improvement with the center quarterback exchange from, from just the very first day of practice to now? I know it's uh, you know we've been we've been mostly consistent with it with first group uh, and meaning Reese, who's had a lot of experience at center, is what I'm talking about. Uh, so we've had you know we've had a few problems with that. Uh, you know there has been you know a couple of mis exchanges that we have to get worked out for the most part. For being a team that was pretty much, you know, uh, 95 to 98 percent shotgun last year, I think that we're making improvements daily. How big of a change is that really to, to go from mostly shotgun to under center? Um, 
obviously it's 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 different, but you know it's you get what you what you rep. You know you you get you know wherever you're taking the most uh, the, the, the most uh, repetitions at, you get better. At it. So uh, it's not foreign to it anymore. You know we're going on day five now. So uh, but it, again, it'll continue to be a process and a field thing for the quarterbacks. You know, the centers. Anything else? Right, Thank you. Thank you.